but what the trend is going away from um, from network shows being great because there are very few, in my opinion, network shows that are great, and even the ones that were once great just two or three years ago are really starting to just kind of peter out as we all try and you know find that status quo and make everyone happy, and in the long run, would you know creativity suffers in that way. Um, but basic cablers, that's where it's at, you know. Well, it's true. I mean, it's it, it makes me sad in a way because sure. the thing I like about network television is, first of all, the resources are much greater, right? You can do bigger things on network TV right. than you can on cable. But also, there was that thing of everybody watching the same show, and then the next day you'd go to school and go to work, and you could all talk about it. And that is disappearing so fast because, as you say, it's like you know you're going to wait to watch Mad Men in a big chunk, and you know. And hunted like you know, I go online and I look at Twitter. There are people who are just watching episode one now, and it's like we're all fractured and fragmented, and, and that that common experience and that common cultural uh, dialogue uh, is so chopped up now. Um, it's a trade-off, you know. I think it's re- resulting in better television, but uh, more fragmentation of of the culture. Yeah, and I had hoped. For a small time, and this doesn't seem to be panning out the way that I thought, but I had hoped that social media would change that. And Lost was a big reason that I thought that because people uh, on Twitter especially, I don't really pay attention to Facebook all that much, but people on Twitter would lose their minds whenever you said something um, about Lost. Or I'm seeing a lot of this with Breaking Bad too. Um, And so I thought that was going to force people to actually return to live television because you were going to want to watch this either as a community or unspoiled. Yeah. And that just didn't happen. No, and I think Twitter, which is so addictive, but I think the, the quality of the discourse on Twitter is so... Poor. Yeah. <laughs> if yeah. I might blunt, it's so knee jerk and just you know, people will just say anything uh, with no. It, it's not very rich as the discourse. Um, you know, I think there's a lot of wit. I think there's a lot of humor, and that's the best thing about Twitter. You know, I, I love reading comedians. You know, yeah. Twitter feeds like mm-hmm. that. But if you're watching a television show and you're hoping to have the experience enriched by the discourse you get on Twitter. I, I don't think that happens very often. You know, it, somebody's got to figure out a form for that. And I, I know like things like Z-Box have come along and stuff, but somebody's got to figure out a way for people who really, they want to have a thoughtful discussion and enrich their enjoyment of a show um, to have that live interaction you're talking about. Because Twitter doesn't seem to be, to be doing it. Yeah, I mean, I could, I personally could talk about this for days, but and I won't bore anyone with it. But I, I my, the point I want to make is, I think that once, and I, I don't mean this to be rude in any way, but I think once um, my generation comes to an executive level age, so I'm, I'll yep. be 34 in a couple of weeks, um, so five, eight years. Um, once that happens, I think we'll start seeing more ideas like that come to fruition. I don't mm. think that folks in an executive stance or state right now understand um, social media. And that's causing yeah. a big you know, chasm between what we're going to spend our marketing dollars on and what we're going to sort of try and enrich communities with that are already there. It's whether or not we support them. That's a whole other thing. Yeah. Um, and and sort of making that a better experience. And until the people in charge that control the budgets understand just how important that is, I don't think we'll see that happen. Five I, years I, from now, maybe you know, when I'm pushing forty and and all in my generation who, you know, came up with the internet starting in high school, um, I, I hope that we see a change in that because for folks like you, it's got to be the greatest thing ever because you get. Um, instant feedback. Can you imagine if we had had these tools now when the X-Files is on and yeah. what a better experience yeah. that would have been? Well, it's, I was thinking that because, you know, the, I think X-Files was probably it was one of the first, if not the first show to sort of benefit from the, the internet community. And by the last three years of the show, there were really healthy chat room communities that I regularly went on. I think I was maybe the only writer on the show who did because you have to have such a thick skin, obviously, right. even now on Twitter and I mean, the stuff you read, it's, if you're easily wounded, it's, it's, it's pretty devastating. Yes. Um, 
but I, I saw the value of it even then. It's like, I want to know what people are thinking. And I, I, and I learned to, to filter it and go, well, this isn't representative of the whole audience. This is a segment of the audience that is motivated to get online. And, you know, you have to decode it. But it's really valuable and interesting. Um, but I, I think you're right. I think it's just going to get better and better. I'm very optimistic, actually, about where it's all going. And I think the technology is going to get more sophisticated. And we're still in early days. It's still... Yeah. This is going to be so primitive in five years. Well, we're, we're going to be like, can you believe when it was just Twitter and Facebook? It's, you know, I don't know what it's going to be, but I know it's going to be um, even cooler than it is now. Yeah, I mean, it's it's even come such a long way. I think I think I've been on Twitter for six years. I'm actually Twitter number like thir- a user thirty thousand. So it was very wow. very early days, and it was just hilariously amazing then. Um, and it's just, it's, it's a pleasure to, to watch and interact with people and get that sort of upfront emotional instant reaction that people have to anything and everything. And I can imagine from a creative standpoint, there's a lot of highs and lows that are, that, that come with that. Uh, you know what it is? It's like, um, eating candy. Well, like you'll go, Oh, that was good. Oh, that's good. And then you eat one too many candies. There's a bug in that one because it's like, <laughs> you, know, you get like six, like, Oh, it was the best show ever. And then one, like what crap this is. Um, but I actually, I was reading an interview in, with uh, Albert Brooks that uh, Judd Apatow did in the new Vanity Fair. And they were talking about this because I guess they're both Twitter addicts. Um, uh, and, they, and they said that they, they have actually confronted people who said nasty things about them. And as soon as they confront them, they turn around. And go, oh, we love your, we love whatever it is you do. Um, so a lot of it is because people don't feel like people like me are reading what they're saying. They just feel like they're talking to other viewers and they can, you know, say whatever they want, which is fair enough. I mean, that's it's really not for me, is it? It's it's for people who are watching things that people like me make. Yeah, but I think that I hope that people understand that people are watching because um, it, it just is a, a, another way to enrich the experience. I think it is. No, and I, I, and I still do it even though, um, even though I get the bugs once in a while. <laughs> we all do, trust me. Um, so I, we kind of strayed off track there. Uh, awesome conversation, though. Um, is there anything else you want to add about the future of Hunted or Morton or Nemesis or whatever we're going to call it in the future? <laughs> yeah. Well, no. I mean, I, like I said, I, it's not a done deal yet, so my fingers are crossed that it all works out. But um, no, it's just been great. And you know, it's, it's. I'll just say again, I've said this before, it's been especially nice seeing the X-File community online, supporting Hunted, talking about it. And um, you know, it's just nice to know that there are people who are in your corner. And you know, even if they didn't all love the show, some of them did, but, but they all were, were rooting for me. And uh, that's really nice. Well, so thank you. That, you're, uh, you're an impossible guy not to root for, so um, it's very easy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. All right. Well, um, thank you so much for chatting. It's always the highlight of my day whenever I get to talk to you, and um, I'm sure we'll come up with something else that we can, um, we can do like this uh, in the future. I look forward to it. All right. Thank you. We'll Have talk soon. Holiday. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.